All right, trainers, welcome back. I'm Mr. Kins. Thank you all for joining me again on this. I'm going to get right into it. So today we have Celebrations ETB. Also, for all you out there that love the mystery packs, I absolutely love the mystery packs. But this time, you might be seeing these on social media. Walgreens has started carrying their fall line. You'll see it in a red cardboard chipper. These right here. These are the Walgreens uh, manufactured again. I'm sure you've heard it in my previous videos. MJ Holdings. These are the mystery packs. Now the difference with these as opposed to standard card mystery packs, these are mystery booster packs. Okay. I have six we're going to be opening up alongside the Celebrations ETB. So let's get right into it. Okay. All right, everybody. Pokemon has been amazing lately with the printing of the current set celebrations, hopefully going forward, because that really diminishes the scalpers from getting their hands on product. And all you lovely Pokemon fans out there can finally get their hands on these at MSRP. Now go ahead and stay tuned uh, to the Towards the end, I'm not going to tell you exactly when because I don't want anybody to skip right through. Um, but I am going to let you know that I do have a giveaway that I'm going to be announcing uh, towards the end of the video. I'm sure you've seen this. For those that out there that have gotten their hands on ETB lately, I'm sure you've read through it. But essentially, this is your player's guide. Uh, this is going to feature information about the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. And you're going to see a full card list of Celebrations on this as well. So you'll see your full card set there. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have the chase cards. Uh, for me, it's definitely not the Charizard. Uh, my chase card on this set, besides obviously the Greninja right there. Beautiful card. Is going to be right there, that shiny Magikarp. Shiny Magikarp, I love that card. Too bad they didn't have the shiny Gyarados with it. That would have been great. But you'll see a lot of these classic collection cards uh, included in this set. Beautiful is 25 total with a 25 on the main set as well. Uh, you're going to see quite a bit of Pikachus. You're going to see some of the, uh, the legendaries, the mythicals, um, the Grudons, the Reshiram, Zekrom, Dialga. A lot of that. Mew, uh, homage, paying homage with the Professor's Research card there as well. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right, so let's go. Let's breeze, breeze through it right here. So the most important thing I'm going to show you guys uh, is the Greninja card here. Beautiful card. Uh, this one has better centering, but the corner is a little rough. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of that here. These are mass-produced, mass-printed cards. Um, you're going to see that centering is a little off to the right. Um, but again, beautiful card. Love that Greninja. Any swirls in there? No swirls. Okay. But again, beautiful card. Love that. Good stuff. These are going to be your 25th anniversary card sleeves. Cool. Still going with that reflect reflective back. All right. Let's go ahead and pull these out here. Quite a bit of selection on here. These these are quite possibly one of the best ETBs you've seen in a while. Um, I think the last one that had, um, well, actually, I mean, comparatively, you've got the Pokemon Center version of this, which has the two additional cards um, and some extra goodies as well. Those are going to be much more difficult to get your hands on. If you do, if you get it at MSRP, congratulations. That was one, one hard object to get. Um, so let's put this off to the side. So again, you've got your 10 celebrations. We'll go ahead and open these up separately here. Um, so I do want to open up the main packs. Ooh, looks like you got, I was wrong on that. You've got five packs here. You're going to see one Vivid Voltage, one Battle Styles. You're going to see a Chilling Rain and two Darkness Ablaze. Okay, so let's start out with a Battle Styles. I know that's a fan favorite. I'm joking, definitely not. However, like I said, you do have that sleeping Tyranitar there as the alternate art. The Empoleon's a solid pull on that. Um, you got the Urshifu cards on the alternate arts as well. So those are definitely some of the most more sought after ones. If you pull that, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear if you do or not. So we'll go ahead and flip this around. We'll go with fighting. Water. 
Okay. So we've got Durant, Camping Gear, Honkrow, Horsey OG, Mankey OG, Mawile. We've got a Fomantis, Remoraid. Our reverse is a Now Stick and a Hollow Orbital. So nice hollow on that card there. We'll put these off to the side. Not quite the hit we were looking for on those alternate arts, but we'll take it. All right, let's go move over next, and we'll save, we'll save the Thicket Chew for last, okay? So we'll move over to Chilling Rain. Uh, already a long forgotten set. As you guys know, we've had the uh, Evolving Skies that really recently came out here a couple months back, um, and then Chilling Rain right before that. So I know people are moving on. Um, I know we've got our TCG players out there, especially the online players are looking for those evolving skies lately. Chilling Rain, um, definitely on the throwback right now. You know, obviously it just came out about six months ago, but um, let's go ahead and move forward with it. All right. So we'd love to see some of those Calyrex cards out here. That would be great. I know that Shadow Rider Calyrex is still a popular card with the TCG online players here. We'll go with a... Oh, missed that one. All right, let's move right into it. Okay, we have a Weeding Gloves. We've got an Avery. We've got a Flaffy. Galarian Slowpoke. Crab Brawler. Snow Runt. Weedle. Into a Cast Form. Our Reverse is a Sawsbuck. Into a... Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Alternate art. Love that card. Wow. That's exactly what we were asking for. Love that artwork on that card. Look at that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up real quick. Already off to a solid start. We haven't even got celebrations yet. All right. Uh, centering's off a little bit of the right on that one as well, but still a beautiful card. I haven't seen that one in a while. A little bit off to the right as well on that, but I will take it. I will take it. Great job. Has anybody else out there pulled this card yet? Beautiful looking card. All right, let's move right into a Darkness Ablaze. <clears throat> I'm hoping this ETB is stacked already. All right, we're going to go with Fire this time. Psychic. It's always a good sign. Love me some Psychic. All right, let's go into it. We've got a Rose, Vanillish, Poltergeist, Torchic, Into a Trap Inch, Jigglypuff. Love that Jigglypuff. Ducklet, Carablast, Into our Reverse, a Dracovish, and then we've got a Eternatus V. Back to back hitters. Wow. Beautiful start already. It's a great card. And we can sleeve that one too. Fingers crossed those celebration packs are going to pull us some fire. My wife would love a, a shiny Mew. I would love that shiny magic card for sure. Go ahead and again, drop me a comment below. What's, what is your chase card for celebrations? If you haven't opened one up yet, any of the Celebrations packs, any of these ETBs had some solid hits on that, please stick with me. Make sure you watch until towards the end, not the very end, because like I said, I've got a giveaway I'm going to announce this week. All right, let's get right into the Darkness Ablaze. Can we have back-to-back -back hitters on the Darkness Ablaze? I'm going to let you guys know I have a bit of a surprise for me anyway. I haven't, I've yet to open it up yet uh, myself personally, but I'm going to go ahead and announce that I've got a Fusion Arts, uh, one of the latest Japanese booster packs out. Um, I will be opening up in my next video. Uh, hopefully you guys can all enjoy that. Hopefully we get some solid pulls. Looking forward to Fusion Strike launching next month. I do have some of that on pre-order as well. Uh, but if you can, pay attention. Giveaway coming soon. All right, let's go right into a water fire. All right. Going into a Toxapex and a Clang. 
Sinus Age, Pass Simeon, Bunnelby, we got a Vanillite and a Gothita into a Nickets. I like that art. Good stuff. And our reverse is a Diglett, looking mighty mean there, into a Pinchurchin. Hollow. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's so move right on. Our last booster pack of this ETB from the main set is going to be Vivid Voltage. Again, I mean, we've had some pretty good hitters so far. Two out of four. Let's see what we can pull out of this one. All right. What do we got now? Let's go with a Metal Energy. Fire again. Okay. All right. We've got a Rocky Helmet. Gavantula, Duats, Intuich, Tots, Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Zygarde. There we go. It's our reverse rare. Into a non hollow Wimsiscot. All right. All right. So, for everybody out there that has. We're actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save five of these. I don't want to end this with the disappointment of those mystery packs. I'm going to go ahead and save five of these for after those mystery packs. We'll open up the first five right now. Um, we'll kind of spread it out a little bit, okay? But for those out there that have um, that have opened up some celebrations, any good hitters so far? Again, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you've hit. <clears throat> All right. These are a little bit, a little bit tricky out here. Four card packs. I know some people like to cut them with scissors. I find if you pull right there in the center, you can open that up without having to tear anything, bend anything, and you can still kind of save that front pack art in case you have any use for it as well. So <clears throat> now um, for all those out there that have not or that aren't familiar with this, again, you've got 25 cards in the main set for celebrations and you have 25 classic, classic collection cards. Um, now without doing any kind of quote unquote card trick, your first two cards are going to be your guaranteed hollows. Your third card has the potential to be a classic collections card, such as that Shining Magic Art or Charizard, Venusaur, any of those classic OG cards. And then your fourth card has the potential to be uh, a hollow from the main set. Or you could have some of the, the Surfing, Flying Pikachus, the Jungle Pikachu, Professor Research, Full Arts. That's your potential for having a main set hit off of there. Technically speaking, they're all kind of hits, right? I know you've seen a, quite a bit of variations of these cards out here, but um, ultimately, you know, every card is at least a hollow, which is awesome. It is only four cards in a pack, but it's still, it's awesome, right? Because a lot of these give you extra bonus booster packs from your main subsets, your battle styles, darkness to blaze, your vivid voltages, chilling rains, all that good stuff. So we'll get right into it. We've got a Ho-Oh. Into a Palkia. Next one is your Rockets Admin. So that's going to be a classic collections card here. Nice looking card. It's from the Team Rocket Return set there. And then a Professor's Research from the main set. This is going to be a standard card again like that. Professor's Research. There is a full art version of this. Hopefully we can pull it and we can show you guys. All right. Let's move on to our second pack. Quick little twist there. Pull at the top. All right. There we go. Try not to get too much damage on there. Maybe we can save it. Okay, so we've got a Xerneas from the main set here. Good looking card. Into a Cosmog. Into a Mew EX. That is a beautiful classic collection card there. So that is a lot of people. There's a, there's a good variation of Mews here. You're going to see a, a standard Mew part of the main, main set for celebrations. Uh, you're going to see this Mew EX as well. And then you're also going to see that shiny Mew, the full art gold card from the main set as well. So uh, there's also a Mewtwo on there. Kind of goes with the Mewtwo EX here. But this is a beautiful card. This is actually my first time pulling this one. And into a regular Mew. There you go. So that's back-to-back -back Mew EX Mews. That's going to be a kind of a double Mew hit on that. Uh, this is going to be your standard Mew from the main set. Uh, and then you still have the Mew Gold card as well. So 
it would be a trifecta ultimately if we pull the Mew out of here with the Mew EX and then finish off with a Mew Gold Shiny Edition. Uh, but still, this is awesome. I like that hit. All right, into our third pack here. Let's go ahead and get this open. Anybody looking forward to that Fusion Arts coming out next month? Fusion Strike, my apologies. Also just recently announced is the VMAX Climax, which is going to be one of their high boxes. It's going to feature a lot of the VMAXs from the Sword and Shield era that's come out so far. Kind of a combined total. Then you do have some alternates on there. There's going to be some, um, some Pokemon with, the, uh, with their trainer attached to it as well. I know that Zekrom card is going to be great. Um, all right, we've got a Kyogre. Reshiram into a Groudon. And then a Lunala. Okay. Let's put those off to the side. Now, do me a favor, as we're getting into these mystery packs here, has anybody opened them up yet? Like I said, it's your fall launch. Uh, it's going to be that cardboard... It's your red cardboard box. You can ask your Walgreens. Um, there are quite a bit of Walgreens nationwide, so there's going to be quite a bit available. Do yourself a favor. A lot of these are going to be... Uh, a lot of these packs in particular are going to be sought after. Um, I'll explain why as we get into it. Hopefully I can show you a little bit better why. But uh, Walgreens has put these out. They are produced by MJ Holdings. There's a variety of packs within these. Some of the older ones, you would have potentially had a chance to get some jungle packs and things like that. Let's get into it. So this is going to be a Cosmog. Into a Zekrom. Into a Dialga. And then a Zamazenta V. So this is going to be one of your hits here. This is a more common one for your, for your main set. Zamazenta V. And then our last pack here for the first set of four. Let's see what we can pull out of this. All right. Starting off with a Ho-Oh. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it. We've got a Ho-Oh, a Zekrom, into a Birthday Pikachu. It's probably my top three chase card. That is beautiful. I've been looking at that car, the original OG version of this for a long time. I love it. This is something that they put out with. Uh, with a blank name on the top here. Uh, back in the day, you could fill it out and put somebody's name here as a birthday present or as a gift or even your name if it's your Pikachu. Now, the thing is, is that don't do it, okay? Uh, people have done it. They have put their name on there. You can't get it off. It's a Sharpie. Pretty much anything, it's going to diminish the card. Put it in a sleeve and then write your name on the sleeve. Just a heads up for anybody watching out there. I'm, I'm sure plenty of you think we already know that. Not everybody does, trust me. Right into A, Mew again. Great cards. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sleeve that birthday Pikachu. Good, good card. There we go. All right. Now, as I was saying earlier, I'll load up the other three here because like I told you, we've got six total of these mystery packs to open up. Um, they're about eight bucks locally at your Walgreens. Don't pay any more than that. Maybe $10 depending on it because the thing is is that a majority of these these booster packs that are within these are going to be your chilling rains, your vivid voltages, right? But the benefit here and if you have watched my older videos, I love mystery packs. I, I really do. It's that variety. You don't know what you're going to get. It's that excitement. Some say it's gambling, but it's an excitement. And the reason why you're going to see a lot of these go up in price, $20, $25, $30, $40, is because the potential to include the Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black and White era sets. Okay, now with Standard Platinum, this one, this one in particular right here that you see on the front, that retails, again, it's, it is out of print, so if you want to buy it secondhand, you're looking at anywhere from $65 to $85 typically. That's a lot of money. <clears throat> But you do have a potential to pull it out of this for eight or nine bucks. So it's kind of exciting, you know? Anyways, let's let's get into it. Let's see what we do pull out of this. Now, the cool thing for some people that are a fan of reverse hollows is you're, you're pretty much guaranteed a reverse hollow um, out of this. And I will show you this. Um, 
The other thing too is you've got a random code card in here that has nothing to do with the actual pack inside. This is a legendary battle deck from Ho-Oh, um, and this is your code card for anybody out there. Now, I haven't tried these personally, so I don't know if they're taken or not. If they're not, cool. That would be pretty cool, but there's that. Um, and then you have, again, your reverse hollow right there. This is a Clefairy, so there we go. Um, you can have a reverse hollow to that, so it's just something extra they put inside. What you really want is going to be these packs right here. So this one, I can get it out, is going to be a Vivid Voltage. So now this is typically a $5 MSRP pack. So essentially, I just lost about four bucks on this. Um, now, the downside, if you guys can see that, that looks like it might have already been opened and re-glued. So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. You know, there's the difference right there, that separation. Huh. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's just kind of see what we got. One, two, three, into a grass energy and dark. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got. Anything on this? We've got an Exadrill. We have a Bia. Giraffe Egg. Electric Pine Co. Into a Mud Bray. Into a Poochiena. Trimander. Love that artwork. Into a Reverse Trudel. And a Non Hollow Jolteon. So maybe it's a repack. Maybe it is. Great job. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. All right, let's get into the, the next one here. All right, and we're gonna shoot into a, it's a reverse, a Celio, okay. And next pack is going to be a Unified Mine. So that's about a $15, $20 pack, maybe give or take. I, I will take it, that's a win. Except for what looks to be another repack. Maybe. Could just be old. On both sides. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody, anybody see anything uh, a little fishy about that? It could just be me. I mean, it's a little bit of discoloring out there. Maybe it's just an old pack. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll take a hit. And we'll get a hit, hopefully. All right. Okay. One, two, three. Into a fire. All right. Got electric. Reset stamp. Hair across. Into a dwebble. Into a P dove. Pie dove. Mana. Pikachu. Look at song. Our reverse is a tranquil into a non hollow abominus snow. All right. Maybe these are repacks, you know? Fingers crossed. We get lucky. That would be phenomenal. Let's go into our third one. If not, stay tuned with me. Fast forward if you just want to see the celebrations. I like these. I like, I kind of like the hits. This is a bit, you know, it's nice. It's great. Okay. So our reverse is going to be a Phalanx. This was recently added to Pokemon Go for all you Pokemon Go players out there. So good stuff. Good stuff. It's it's kind of weird the way that its body separates, personally. And we're going to go with a Chilling Rain. Okay, another loss of about three bucks, three, four bucks. You can get these for about four or five dollars MSRP. So, you know, for a three, four dollar difference, it is what it is. We're taking a, we're taking a risk here. Well, I'm taking a risk at least. Here's another one that... Man, that's, look at that. Look at that. It's kind of hard to tell. It was cut. It's kind of open there. See that little opening? Huh. Huh. Great job, MJ Holdings. Anybody know the uh, the owners of MJ Holdings out there? Because their quality control for repacks. You need to hide a little better MJ Holdings, okay? 
All right, let's get into a Della Bird. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. We're going to go with Fighting Energy. Water. All right. All right, we've got a Dyna Tree Hill. Spiral Energy. Peony. Della Bird. Larvesta. Mareep. Heracross. Calabapus. Our reverse is an old cemetery into a Tornadus V. Standard V card. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Nice looking card. Pretty popular. All right. Now we've got our fourth one. Any luck at this time? Let's go with one of those platinum packs. That'd be great. Maybe a even a cosmic eclipse. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. All right. <clears throat> Our reverse is a Metacham. There we go. Into a... XY Evolutions. That's a nice hit. That's about a $20 pack. 20 25 18 on the low end or so, and it's still that same thing where the little bit of discoloration on the top and bottom. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I mean, it's not on the inside. Oh, well. That's a hit, too. That is a hit. x y Evolutions is a popular set right now. You know, it's pretty much a, um, a reprint of the base set packs. Um, you've got some of those. I mean, Charizard is a pretty popular car. That's that's um, you know good investments on that for the fans that that can't really afford to get their hands on some of the OG base set unlimited cards. You can find a lot of those here in the X Y Evolutions. A lot of people are doing that. Now, I'll be honest. I haven't opened up an X Y Evolutions card uh, in a while, so um, I don't know what the card trick is. Maybe leave a comment down below and, and help me out here. We're going to go with three this time. Um, wow. And I failed that card trick, but we didn't fail on a hit. Pidgeot EX. I... <laughs> My bad. All right. We'll just we'll flip right through it. Energy, Charizard, Spirit Link, Kakuna into a Weedle. Machop, Tangela, Vulpix, Energy, and a Reverse Weedle. So, hey, uh, my bad out there, trainers. I failed that one, but we didn't fail on the hit. That Pidgeot EX is a great looking card. Uh, so at least you get to enjoy that and not my pack opening. Great looking card there. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Embarrassing. All right. So, so far we have had a Unified Minds pack out of this. We have had a... <clears throat> XY Evolutions, we got a Chilling Rain. All right, let's see what we got here on the fifth one. Black and white, maybe? That'd be cool, black and white. Platinum, of course, would be cool. We've got a Reverse Weezing, looks like from the Hidden Fates set. With a Jane, little James down there at the bottom. Uh, that's kind of cool, kind of neat. Put that off to the side here. Chilling Rain. Well, two for five so far. Maybe we can finish off 50% of our packs here. All right. All right, we're going to get right into it. Let's go with a fire this time. There we go. Woo! Good stuff. Flip over to Corbominable. Single Strike, Melanie into a Routes, Venipede, Bound Suites, Lapras, Blitzel. Our reverse is a Passmian into a non hollow Ampharos. All right. All right, we've got our last mystery pack, our last one before we get back into some celebrations. All right, let's get this last one open right up. We'll get back into the main course here. We've got a, from XY set there, the Energy Retrieval Trainer card. All right. I'm feeling good about this one. Let's get a hit. Come on, let's get a hit. Let's get, let's get, 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 get it. 
Dragon Majesty. I love that set. I love that set. Let's see if we get anything out of this. That would be great. I'm going <laughs> to try not to fail this time. All right. Let's do two. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Um, maybe. I'm going to do with this. Okay. Let's do Dragonair as our uncommon. Fiony. Croconaw. Charmander. Wishuashi. Totodile. Actually, you know, I'm just thinking in the back of my head, too. For those that are out there, it's a sad, sad scene from the original Pokemon cartoon that came out, the anime, um, how Charmander was found by Ash. His, the, the flame on his tail was about to go out, and he was in a rainstorm covered by a leaf. Sad moment in history, Pokemon history, but um, paying homage there. Charmander does have a smile on his face this time, so I like that variation. I do. Going to a Baggin, Horsey. A reverse is a Corsola. This is nice. This is nice. This is a hollow hydrogen. I like that. Good stuff. I'll have to touch base on my uh, my older sets like that. It's been a while since I opened up. I have um, <laughs> I started back again at the beginning of Sword and Shield, and um, it's been a minute. Okay, I was opening these packs up up in the late '90s myself, and I was one of those kids that was trading my my uh, my Blastoises and Venusaurs for a first edition Machamp because of that first edition symbol that was on there. Lo and behold, bad mistake. All right, let's get into that celebration. So we've got four packs left. Let's see what we can pull out of this. What? Shiny Mew? Maybe? All right. That would be cool. For sure. All right, we've got a uh, Kyogre, Vettel, Xerneas, and Professor's Research. Okay. All right. There we go. Get right into it. All right, we've got a uh, Dialga. Palkia into a Venusaur throwback OG base set. Look at that bad boy right there. Love that. Right into a surfing Pikachu. Good stuff. I, You know what? You're going to hate me out there for this. I love the hollow foil. I'm not too much of a fan of the 25th anniversary symbol. A little bit smaller would have been great. But I love the hollow foil on these cards. I love it. I love it, love, love it. Nice little texture on it. So we'll go ahead and sleeve these up here. Um, I know a lot of people, I was just speaking about that Venusaur actually. People like the the throwback for the Venusaurs. Blastoise, Charizard from the base that are unlimited. There we go. Throw that up there. And then we've got that Surfing Pikachu. This is going to be your Surfing Pikachu V. There is a VMAX rendition of this card as well. Put that off to the side. We've got two packs left. All right. Now, I'm going to pause for a moment. Because I know I mentioned towards the end of the video, not quite the end. For those that are watching up until this point, I do appreciate you. I really do. Thank you for sticking with me on this on this journey. This is a great start. I love it. I'm glad to get back into it. I'm glad to enjoy with all you out there my giveaway. Okay, Go ahead and find my link in the About section here to Twitter. I will be posting up towards the middle of the week a giveaway. I will be giving away some Celebrations product and some Evolving Skies product as well. It's going to be a couple collection sets. Um, it's going to be worth it. There's no going to be no cost to entry. I'll take care of shipping and everything like that. 
Um, go ahead and uh, follow my Twitter there. Give me a follow. I will be announcing mid this week, maybe uh, maybe Thursday. Um, do me a favor. Shoot me a follow. Check out and look for that 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 tweet for the giveaway. Hopefully, one of you out there will win. I will post up here as well, just a short little brief video for those that are interested. Maybe get, don't get a chance to go to my Twitter. Um, if you if you're too young for it, get your parents. That's fine. Um, just let me know. I'm going to be getting out to one of you lucky people out there. All right, we've got a Zekrom. Ho ho into a. Luxray level X. That's a nice classic collector. We've got some pretty good hits out of this so far. Into a, there we go. That surfing Pikachu V Max. There's that variation. Let's go ahead and sleeve this up real quick. Uh, I'll show you that Luxray first, and then I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a comparison with the normal surfing Pikachu, and I'll let you see the differences. Obviously, one's a full art, and one is not. Okay, so there's that Luxray. Good stuff, okay. And then we have our Surfing Pikachu VMAX and Surfing Pikachu. So, nice looking cards there. Still have that little chunk of chew on it. Um, there are definitely some noticeable differences there. Obviously much more blue in that full art, but uh, still some beautiful cards. Love it. All right, we've got two packs left on this. Let's go ahead and open that right up here. There we go. What can we get this time around? <clears throat> All right, we've got a Lugia. First time seeing that today. Ho-Oh into a Reshiram into a Lunala. No major hits on that one, but we'll take it. Those hollows are still some great cards. And our last pack. Let's, let's get some last pack magic out there. Come on. Somebody wish me some luck. You got me? All right. Maybe this is the toughest one to open up here, so maybe keep the CR saving the best for last, okay? So we'll go ahead and open that right up there. All right. We've got a Dialga. Kyogre. Clay Doll Classic Collection. There's another throwback there. There we go into a professor's research. So, a little bit of a hit there with that clay doll. All right, it's a little more, one of the more common ones here, but you know, still a beautiful looking card. Okay, so again, uh, do me a favor. I'm not gonna repeat it, because I didn't say the end of the video, uh, but go ahead and make sure for those that are paying attention on there, do that, follow me, all right? I would appreciate it. Um, and again, we have Fusion, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> We've got the Fusion Arts pack coming up in our next video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, those mystery packs out there. We have the Dragon Majesty pack, we have the Unified Minds, and we have the XY Evolutions. So again, apologies for that failure on the XY Evolutions. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it next time, okay? Um, and I do have some more of those mystery packs here we'll be opening up as well alongside um, some of our packs in the future. So uh, and we've got some more celebrations coming too. Drop a comment down below. Let me let me know what sets you'd like to, to watch open, okay? I've got some collector tins. I've got some different collection boxes. Um, absolute fan of Shining Fates. We're going to open that up. I think we're going to kind of do a versus. Maybe uh, I'm thinking maybe Shining Fates versus Hidden Fates. Anybody want to see that out there? Let me know. And as always, do me a favor. Drop a like and a sub and a share it to your friends and family or anybody you think might be interested in seeing some different Pokemon content. Um, I'm a fan your fan. And again, trainers, thank you once more. Have a great day.